Sometimes you play Zelda, and other times you play 1-2 Switch. Today we are looking at myself and my girlfriend Becca doing the 1-2 Switch dance for the first time. And we were put inside of a tiny phone booth-esque room and uh, made to shoot each other, milk cows, and count marbles. I've got Gabe and Jake here uh, for color commentary. <laughs> this is the, uh, the big... Big new IP for Switch launch. No, that's Snipper Clips. That's a big new IP. Snipper Clips is... is not not for launch though. Oh, darn it. Um, this you and Becca almost hit each other when you first did the gun thing. By the way, we, we did. We actually did. I took off. <laughs> I took off the uh, the wrist strap by accident um, because I bumped into her controller like it slid out of place. Uh, so spacing is critical, but it shows the angle you fired and it shows the time. So like if you if you just hold it down and press, it will not work. If that okay. makes sense. I already have a question. I'm yes. See, I, 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 the cone that came up uh, there yes. to show you the angle, does it matter if she, like, shoots you, like, in the head and you shoot her, like, in the body? Like, I don't that... think so. I think it just has to be within it's that time. cone. What, what, Jake? It's time-based. Like, whoever shoots first within the cone. Yeah, within the cone, yeah. Okay. Also, uh, there are supposed to be, like, 24 mini games in 1-2 Switch. So even though we only played three and they were showing off, I think, six at the event, there's apparently 24. So this is a much bigger package than you expect. <laughs> So right. is there just like a noise that says like fire or like a yeah it's that it's okay. the screen talking it's not there's no like rumble right. or anything okay and uh so and so the weird part the weird part about this game is that so much of it is meant for you to like look at and talk to the person in the room with you like they don't really want you looking at the screen hardly at all so even though they have these beautiful uh humans on screen firing guns and doing all sorts of things milking cows uh gabe you're gonna love the milkman that i got to be okay. um they want you to like look at each other, uh, which is, is I guess an interesting. Like, the thing, th th you think the about thing the switch and what the switch stands for in terms of like, hey, this machine that you can play portable around your TV, and this is like, hey, don't look at it anyway. It's kind well, of interesting. It's, it's like a party thing that they want you to kind of like the to like, you know, like a more casual way to introduce the switch to like a group of people, you know. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the totally only thing I want to look at is this guy packing his bag right behind yeah. me. Like, Why? He's, he's just trying to get screen time, man. Get him out of here. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I, I normally have great reflexes. I guess my old age is showing through because I could not catch, uh, catch up here, even when I put the hat on. Well, I was just it, terrible. It, it seems like Becca's just like a desperado of some kind. And she <laughs> she came from the Wild West and. No, and you like, you need to get lessons from this lady. <laughs> Clearly, she's the true sheriff in town. It's Maeve from uh, Westworld. <laughs> uh, but. Like this, this demo was the longest line because it was like a 15 minute or you know 12 minute demo or whatever, which was really interesting. Um, and so it had the like the least, like the least turnover. I guess people were going through the slowest. Uh, so we got in right at the end. I think you'll see when we get to the end of the demo, like everyone like they're <laughs> he told, looks like, so bewildered right now, <laughs> just looking all around. Oh, you get to milk a cow now. Okay. Look at this. I'm the milk man, and she's the milk lady. But I'm the milk man. Okay, this one you're supposed to do this weird like xylophone finger motion here, and this was a real struggle for me. Okay, because like, I was like this guy. I was just having trouble like him. And my issue was I didn't realize that as you xylophone down, you're supposed to retain your finger hold. So like as you xylophone the top finger, you're supposed to hold the top finger. Well, I would let it go. I was just like a crazy xylophoner. So you were like playing the piano as opposed to like right. forcing something out of a tube. Yes. And so, okay. yeah, I mean, this milkman is just, he reminds me of someone straight out of like Steve Rule. Okay. Uh, but it was interesting because, yeah, there was a tension so how, there. I how did this like, feel? How did this feel like? Did it actually feel like you were like moving something through the Joy-Con? Yeah, a little bit. Like you okay. could feel like a, a pull slash like a, a movement of like something in it. I mean, obviously it's not as exact as like a real life thing, right? Uh, but how would you know? Good. Have you ever milked a cow? I have not. Okay, no. so you have no. Me, way and, me and Gabe are clearly the experts then. So yeah, Jake and I have milked cows before, so only. I, I've felt that warm udder between my fingers before. Yes. Look at my horrible. Look at my horrible thoroughness. I'm, yeah, there like, we you're go. a little too. Ro you're a little too robotic there. You need to loosen up. Be more organic with the it's cow. It's because I'm not there. It's because I. Mo Whoa! Be gentle with the cow. Okay? I like the explosive. Whoa! <laughs> That's a little too much. Jeez. This could get but, very. PG-13 very quickly. <laughs> it's because I'm not, it's because I was not holding on. I look how excited I am. You look like so bewildered. It's amazing. <laughs> Cows are a new discovery for me. Wait, so, why is Becca better at you? Like at everything? I, that's what I'm saying. I think she's just a switcheroo. Uh, it was really hard to get all these things. And like, 
instantly my mind goes to conspiracy. How do they know how many cups you're, you know, doing or whatever? Uh, but I guess she won. So we're going to come back at it. it I really that, like these cow hats, though. Those are pretty epic. It says that I'm rushing it a bit no, too but, much. But, all right, but seriously, stop and think for a second. Somebody... At a, a developer at Nintendo said, "Hey, you know what is a great mini game to like showcase the new power <laughs> or the new ability of these Joy Cons? Like that's milking cows." No, okay, let's go a step further. Not the developer who had the initial idea, the engineer who went out and felt udders to make sure that the Joy-Con felt like a real udder. I think it's the fact that the Joy-Con has the buttons on the sides. They're probably trying to think of what's something like they probably initially brainstormed like what's something we could do in like you know using the buttons on the side type thing. You know, a, t- a a brushing teeth simulator would have been better than a freaking. No, I think Gabe. I don't know why you don't like this. I think it was like a great idea. It's funny. It's, it's not it's that I don't like it. I think it's ridiculous. It's Look not, how horrible I am. That's what's supposed to I'm be. I'm the red one. No, I'm yeah. No. One. Why? It's like the udder is not that long. What do you think this is? <laughs> I'm so bad. It's because I wasn't holding it. I didn't. You're, learn you're until... hurting that cow. And then we got. <laughs> then you have Fabio recording you on his Samsung Galaxy 23 or something buying it. It's, it's, a, it's an iPhone. I'm so hopeful that I'm gonna win. And I That's lost not, again. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh. But I lost again. Uh, do you win yeah. any of these, Zach? <laughs> Sh- should Becca be the person we're making this video with? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I. Uh, look at this. She's just a milkmaid. Look at she that. Is. Okay, 11 so, milks. All right, now so we know what she's... Becca's true calling is, milkmaid. <laughs> Look, at that, no, hair. And, and, and Look at that alfalfa hair I got going on. And being a cowboy. She's great at that, too. She can she's kill just you. destined to work on a farm. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically... <laughs> Sorry, right, Zach, now... you're going to have to move away from L.A. and go live on a farm. <laughs> now here comes the most in- exciting game of all. It's Mr. Milkman turns into Marble Works. You got to guess. This one is actually the coolest. You have to guess how many marbles are in the Joy-Con. This is where the haptic HD rumble comes in because you legitimately can feel different objects rolling through the Joy-Con. Blah, blah, blah. It's pretty incredible. Look, As look you can that. tell people, it is very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at that guy. His face is just of pure pleasure as he's counting these up. You said 26 minigames? Yes. No, 24. Okay. Hey, you guys, so each player has the same number of marbles, correct? Right, and so we're trying to guess who has the correct ball count. And you're not locked in until you... Uh, so you can tie, theoretically, every time in this minigame. Yes. You're not okay. locked in until you set it on the ground. You have to set that box down. Wait, do you win here? Tell me she doesn't beat you three times. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. But, I, like, That's... honestly, like, I know it's not Zelda, and I know it's not Mario, and I know it's not Splatoon, but, like, it was really fun, and I think, like, in the same way that We Play was something that I thought was, like, a blow-off title at the beginning and then ended up loving playing at home, uh, I think this could be a game like that that has no, like, no hardcore value, no, like, oh, you know, game design award value, but, like, it's legitimately, like, a fun, enjoyable, like, crazy game. But and it's something me- that, like, everybody can play. Like, you could literally have your grandma milk a cow because she remembers how to do it from ages ago. <laughs> you're, right. you're, ne- you're never going to beat your grandmother. Right. <laughs> you couldn't even beat Becca. Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe Becca made a bunch of cows. Wait, so just looking at the TV doesn't tell you how many marbles there are in there, right? No. That's us moving the number. No, and, I understand that, but before that, it showed two. Oh, no, that was just, like, giving you an example. Oh, this lady's nervous for me. Look, she's... Or something stinks. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> you stink, Zachary, because you can't win. I anything. won! Oh. I finally won! Okay. Finally got a win. I All hope right. this video captures when they give me my, my runners-up prize. It was so, so like, moral de- morale-depleting when they're like, here, for a job well done. Um, okay. To become the, the tundra, that lady got real cold real well, fast. Well, as you can see, all the people cleared out. There's no one left. If you look in the background, the event is over. Oh. <laughs> so and you, can see... you and Becca counting marbles. Yes. <laughs> We're counting all those marbles they have left for them. All right. uh, so as you can see, you can, like, make a secret guess. So I can, like, visibly on the screen put in four and then go to a question mark and then, like, lower it to two or lower it to five. And so mm-hmm. Becca or whoever your opponent is. My opponent will be Becca because someone well, has they... to beat her will think that it's le- like more or less but this is like very look at my look at my intensity <laughs> it's very serious <laughs> oh my all right so so full price game one two switch dollars damn it's a little expensive for a it, it, it really should be games. a pack-in i think it would be a i think it would be brilliant as a pack-in i'm not quite sure why it's not um that's what's his name from uh Vice Gaming behind us. Uh, so th- we are now having a series of videos where we have other YouTubers, because uh, Andre from Game Explain was in the last one. Yes, Becca won. 
Okay, so Becca's just... Jake, me and you, one of us needs to take her down. Because I will I... say, when you tip it all the way, uh huh, it does, like, get to this point where, like, it starts going, like, because, like, clearly you tip it too much. Uh, but other than that, like, if you keep it within, like, the, the, the realm of, like, realism or, or, like, that you're not trying to, like, flip the box upside down, it's actually pretty neat how you can feel individual particles, marbles, pieces within the controller. And, and like I mentioned before, I'm really excited and interested to see, like, what do they do with this in a, in a AAA game or a more normal, hardcore game? I, I all I have to say is I think this is going to be great when we get together for the launch and make videos on this. It'll be fantastic. I'm I super excited need, for that. Me too. I think we need hats. Okay. We can get some I, hats. All right. And I think maybe we need a real cow. Okay. <laughs> it's, gonna hard, 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 it's gonna be hard to put it in, in in your house in Indiana, but okay. There's lots of cornfields. We'll just keep it out there. All so right. a, okay, after seeing someone you know and love play Nintendo Switch, uh, One Two Switch, are you more or less excited? Did I sell it to you? I'm more confused. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really think it's legitimately like a a very again. You have to understand what it is, but I don't think like people are people who didn't play it are like, oh my god, milking a cow, oh my god, eating a sandwich. This is so stupid. But I think it really nicely fits into that we sports, you know, niche without without being a sports title, right? And except I, I, that this isn't free. It, it's not free. That is true. And I think that that's going to be really interesting. What are the sales of a game like this that isn't free? But I think it has even more party appeal or even more family appeal than Wii Sports because, you know, not everyone likes or can play tennis, but everyone can do all this silly stuff. Well, apparently you can't milk a cow, so. I mean, I need to learn better. I didn't understand that you're supposed to hold on. I was trying to gently feather that udder. Okay. Okay. All right, we have gone on way too long about one to switch <laughs> Well, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Let us know what you think of one to switch in the comments down below. I think it's worth a lot of time, and we're going to be putting more into it when the launch comes in a month and a half. Until that time, though, for myself, Gabe, and Jake, Switch Force out.